So today I want to talk to you about when you should stop to improve an AI system. Basically the question is, okay, we got to a certain point, should we continue? Should we further invest in this system? Let's start. In order to understand this and why this is important, I want to go back to an experience I had a few years ago when I was working on a very large e-commerce uh, platform. And the problem was we were shipping wrong items. Now this problem, it's a problem that all platforms have, particularly the large ones. We're talking about Amazon, we're talking about Walmart and the big ones that have a lot of products. Why they have this type of problem? Because the products around the world are identified by a number. But the problem is a lot of people reutilize this number and therefore this pollutes completely the databases of these very large e-commerce websites and for a portion of you know that 0.05%, 0.1%, it's a really tiny amount, products get shipped wrongly. Like you order a pen and you, got, and you get the patato. Or sometimes you order one pen and you get three pens and nobody will know because you will keep them, okay? Problem I wanted to address here is the following. In a situation like this, uh, what we faced was an input that was extremely viable. So it means there was no really a pattern that would allow us, even with the most sophisticated things like deep learning and LSTM and, and, and other big words, it was not easy to basically train a supervised model because the variability of the system was so large, the variability of the input data was so large that basically there was no way to teach a system to become perfected it. And one of the things I noticed while I was doing this project was that really as a human being, if you tried on a unit by unit, you're trying to avoid one mistake at the time without looking at the millions of uh, products, it's very difficult. Like you wouldn't be able to do it as a human being. At a certain point, uh, you know, we got quite a bit of results with a variety of solutions. So we cut it down to 60%. But uh, it came a point where the question was asked, should we stop? I mean, should we go anywhere any farther than this? And the answer was not, because it was unuseful, the amount of investment was too large, and the benefit was very limited. So, will you find yourself in a situation like this? I guess it's likely, especially if you are in a large system, a large scale system, but even for smaller scale systems it could happen. And I think uh, what should be the North Pole star is a few considerations. If the variability of your input is too high, like the products or the pictures or the text that you're working with is too large, like there is one day you have, let's say, a banana, another day you have uh, the tip of a pen, and another day, another millions and millions of situations like this, that's kind of a complicated situation. So there's too much variability. Then if the net gain of the incremental benefit is negligible or, or small, and if the cost of getting to an improvement is too high, at the end of the day, there is no strategic value. That's the moment in which you have to call the shots and say, okay, this is the point where we stop here. This system is as good as possible. And then you keep monitoring it. My advice is you are aware of this, you document it because you might leave the company, you might be in another company by the time that all this is done and um, other people could, you know, not knowing of these trade-offs that you've made and, and the topic might come back, maybe the technology has evolved, there are other solutions or the way that the company looks at it is a little bit different so they wanted to modify uh, certain aspects of the solution. So document everything but just move on in a situation like this. And again, we go back to whoever is in a position of basically matching the science of machine learning and artificial intelligence with the business. I think us to have a proper mindset, an analytical mindset, in which you basically analyze the variables on the business side and the endless, if you like, variables on the science side. And you come up with kind of a decision, a balanced decision. And uh, very often the engineers, even the data scientists look at you, and sometimes they tell you, I mean, this is as much we can do, uh, just let's move on, you should listen. So now if you want to get the type of mindset and I think it's worth a lot of money because I'm telling you AI is here to stay and these type of jobs are going to be the most paid in the future. You know where to go, it's my course, the Artificial Intelligence Product and Process Innovation. Just click on the link and I'll see you the next time. Thank you.